Welcome to Watch Guide's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockrander. Today's story is Netgear Router Zero Day. Uh, researchers from CERT have posted advisory warning about a zero day exploit affecting a number of consumer Netgear routers, basically the R6200 series through R8000 series. However, Netgear mentions this could affect other routers as well. Without going into all the detail, this is actually something called a command injection vulnerability that's really based on three different vulnerabilities, including something called cross-site request forgery. But long story short, basically if an attacker can uh, entice somebody behind one of these routers to visit a malicious website, the website can actually take advantage of this flaw to uh, inject commands at root level to your router, so they basically can gain full control of your router and do whatever they want. So it's a pretty big deal. Now Netgear has responded to this vulnerability. They do have a beta firmware that supposedly fixes this today. However, it is a beta firmware so they don't guarantee it works. So really if you're an owner of this router, you could think about installing this beta firmware or wait for them to release a, a production update. Now CERT themselves actually recommend that if you're affected by this flaw, you just stop using the router until you have a fix. Uh, that may not be the type of advice everyone can take, but one one security researcher has posted a kind of workaround for this. Basically, he takes advantage of the flaw itself to shut down uh, the web service that's responsible for this. And by doing so, no one else can actually take advantage of the issue. Now, the bad news is that when you reboot your router, it becomes vulnerable again, so you have to continue to do this little workaround. Nonetheless, it might be something you want to think about until Netgear releases the final patch. Anyways, check out the alert. If you own an affected Netgear router, keep your eye out for that patch and also maybe apply the workaround and really if you own any Netgear router you want to keep an eye out for messages from Netgear because those routers may be affected as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. <laughs>